hey. Hello, hey. Welcome back to your daily dose of Murphy. We're playing Doom. Yep. That's uh That's how I'm going to end. Oh, grenade. Hello. Hello. Darkness, my old friend. It's gonna be really late after we do those super hardcore voices, I'm back because my mom was trying to call me and I had to ignore it. <laughs> Come on, Mom. We're busy. Oh. Yeah, come on. Who do you think you is? <laughs> uh, it's like we, we do this hardcore voice like, Oh, hey. Oh, sorry. My mom's calling. Just one <laughs> second. <laughs> well, I'm glad that you've ignored the fact that I just punched a barrel and died. <laughs> You know, for all the times I've drowned myself, I can't give you crap. That's fair. I just, I, I went into Borderlands 3 mode. Because in Borderlands 3, if you punch a barrel, it can, like, toss it in that direction. And I was like, oh, yeah, I can do that. Get some of these guys. Nope. Not Borderlands it's 3. It's also just, like, it's also just the thing to do in general of just, when in doubt, you punch everything in Borderlands 3. And in Doom. True. And in Cooking Simulator. And Overcooked. Cooking Mama. Yeah. <laughs> no, Overcooked. When in doubt, you grab that freaking high. <laughs> you grab that freaking fire hydrant and just spit Spray in circles. Spray in circles. <laughs> That's the way the game is meant to be played. Oh my gosh, we're going to have to do a special episode to replay that with, like, you, me, and your wife. Well, we should. Got the capture card for it. Let's do it. Oh, crap. Okay. It's only a little bit destructive. Yo, I oh, I'm sorry. I just I keep getting phone calls. Do you need I to apologize. take a call or no? No, no. It should be good. I'm gonna text my friend and see what's up. Okay. But I still, but we can keep going. Cool. You're too popular. The only person that calls or texts me ever is sitting five feet behind me. Or is in this chat. <laughs> hey, that's you. <laughs> das me. Das me. Oh, didn't mean to do that. There we go. Freaking kill things, yeah. You see that swing he took at me? So bad. I'm way better. I will be better. I will be stronger. <laughs> the Daft Punk song. Bigger, faster, meaner, stronger. Also a Kanye West song. Because he, he sampled Def Punk. Kanye said, ooh yeah, Daft Punk. They're such punks. Daft boy, such a Daft Punk. 928 2020 Humor I see things Person. over there and I want them I don't know if we can get to them yet 
I don't think we can. There's stuff over there. I'll be back. I'll be back. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me, good sir. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's just like that's just somebody's husband. Mm -hmm. Ah, he's blocking our satellite TV. How am I gonna watch Direct TV now? How am I gonna get NFL Sunday Ticket or all the other diverse package options that Droly Direct TV can provide? Dang it! Murphy is sponsored by Direct TV. <laughs> Murphy and is not sponsored by Jack Squat. Sponsor us, please. True. But once we get a sponsor, you best believe we finna sell out. Yep. We need that cash money to keep the channel cash going. Even if the company's known for murdering baby pandas. Even if that means we have to pick up a baby panda on video and rip it apart with our parents. <laughs> I think we have David different motives. <laughs> <laughs> I think we have a different creative vision of where the channel's going. Mom, my co-manager of the company is saying that, uh, he's gonna kill baby pandas. Well, like, we could fashion it into a hat. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. Is, am I a terrible person? Is this like the moment where I'm being given a chance to like rethink my life choices? <laughs> I mean, you, you say what you want. With a marginal, you know, border you shouldn't cross like baby pandas. <laughs> Did I find David's one soft spot? Baby pandas. <laughs> Baby animals that you're killing? Yes. We're gonna what get some. Uh, like an we're gonna get an animal rights like... movement to like boycott us from YouTube. That would be the day, wouldn't that? Oh, for reals, the explosive shot killed me. Wow! Wish you were good at games. <laughs> I feel attacked. I only hang out with people that are good. <laughs> <laughs> now that's cow tipping, ha ha ha. That's called boy tipping, ha ha ha. The classic film turned Nickelodeon television series Barnyard. The movie was legit. Never saw the show. <laughs> the show? Not so much. I remember when I was younger, um, my mom, uh, she won a radio contest on 105.3 Hot FM, where um, she got to um, take us to go see that movie on a preview um, a week early, and we felt like we were the coolest people on the planet. We got to go see Barnyard a week early at Grand Rapids. Grand Rapids. And, uh, Grand Rapids. <laughs> How have we not talked about the Kiss concert yet? We we're saving it for a special day. Today is that day. Okay. 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 <laughs> So, um, 
before there was a thing called my, 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 my Corona, um, there was a, a, there was a band called Kiss. <laughs> you might have heard of them from the Scooby Doo special Kiss and Scooby Doo. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Um, we uh, David and I, seeing that it could be their last time touring. Even though, let's be honest, it's KISS. Um, or like, we have to hop on this opportunity. So myself, uh, David, and my dad went to see them the last time they were in Grand Rapids. And, um, oh boy. The only way I could properly describe it is what a live experience it was to see Kiss. <laughs> Agreed. They were great, don't get me wrong. But man, um, it was a, bu a couple things were abundantly clear. Um, one, Paul Stanley is the weirdest man on the planet when he's got that makeup on. <laughs> be because Paul Stanley, when you hear him talk, he actually has like a pretty nice speaking voice. He's a very, like, you know, handsome man. He's known to be a ladies' man. Um, but when that man is in character, when he's going full, Grand Rapids, I got a question for you. <laughs> I got a question for you. Grand Rapids. Like... I would have had my last tour like 40 years ago if that's how I talked every time I was on stage. <laughs> um, and then the other thing that was abundantly clear is, man, are they old. Mm -hmm. Because, uh, and again, not a bad thing. It's just like, a, you know, just an observation. Um, there were a lot of breaks that were manufactured in for Gene Simmons um, that where he just was had manufactured sitting breaks because that man was so old and that equipment was just way too heavy. I mean, he had some big bass guitars. Dude, like his equipment. And he, oh yeah, he did, man. It's like, uh, I don't think you can go down to your local Gibson store <laughs> and get that kind of bass guitar. But hey, if I was 60-something turning 70, I, I would hope that I could rock like that still. Because it was still a great show. It's just something that you and I both learned. Like, wow, you don't live forever. And also, Paul Stanley has some weird pronunciations and techniques for how he speaks. Right. And it's like, you know, I went in, uh, um, like six, like, so like later that week I went and saw Metallica live, which also was great. And they were a little younger. Um, they also put on one heck of a show. Um, but, but like a few months after that, like last October, I saw, I saw the Phil Collins perform live. And, Man, his age showed. He probably didn't play drums like, at all, he, too. No, he didn't. But he can't anymore. Um, um, he did play like bongo drums at one point, which is really cool. Um, and he went hard on that. Um, he only stood for one song. Which one he was that? He only was able uh, in the air tonight. Of course he did. But I, I say stand very loosely because when I say stand, he literally only stood. No movement, no walking around. He just stood in front of that microphone stand, gripping that thing tight. Open and praying that we weren't going to see a Phil Collins stumble. 
Um, and like, you know, he, he still could sing great. He still was like fun to watch and his band was great. And he was dancing when he was in his chair and everything like that. But he just was like, Oh, I got some one hell of a back problem. I won't be able to stand for the majority of the concert. And I was like, maybe, like, you know, maybe doing a live stream of that would have been good for you instead of touring around the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's getting up there in years, and he, he struggled with some drinking problems within the last probably 10, 15 which oh, probably, for sure. And that's why, like, he started getting really bad joint pain or something like that. And he can't, um, well, the reason he didn't play drums during your concert is because he can't grasp a drumstick anymore in one of his hands. Which yeah. makes sense on why he chose to play the bongos, because you don't have to hold a drumstick together. This is me speaking as well, a drummer, yeah. by the way. Um, right. Well, it's cool, too, though, because, like, his son was the drummer. Mm. So... To have the son of Phil Collins um, as your drummer, um, it was just cool. It was just really cool. Um, but, you know, um, definitely could see his age. But at the same time, um, it was still remarkable. And, uh, you know, it's just one of those things where um, you don't realize it. But when you talk about 80s music... That was that was forty years ago now. Mm hmm Which is just surreal. We're in our twenties, Sean. I know. Ten years from now we'll be in our thirties. Then we won't feel young I anymore. I wonder what we'll be ten when years it's later. Twenty years from now. <laughs> <laughs> I can't count that far. <laughs> I went to a public school. I can't count higher than Tweed. <laughs> Same though. <laughs> uh, you would think that uh, you would think that we had a lot of low counters in our school because we had a lot of people get pregnant very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot, we're 14. We gotta start reproducing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. It's so bad, but so true. Oh, we didn't go to the same high school. No! But... Right. But our high schools probably weren't well, very different. Yeah. And, you know, to keep people's. I'm gonna keep this person's identity anonymous, but also, like, I don't think he's gonna watch this. <laughs> Um, yeah, there was someone I went to school with, um, graduated the same year. They already have four kids. Dang. No thanks. That man is like a factory line. <laughs> it's like, uh, he'd be a good overcooked player. So when <laughs> something's out of the oven, he's popping it back in. <laughs> Let's get go. him on the channel to play some overcooked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's such a disgusting analogy, but I love it. <laughs> Man, these are just some of our incredible thoughts, huh, David? Yep. And you can't find it anywhere else. Nope. We found it here. Only place. Top notch. That's just one little thing that Murphy can give you. Comedy. Sometimes. True classic comedy. Comedy. We have to find some gore nests. There, uh, it's that fat portal thing, that thing right there, that I have to destroy four of. 
So that's our goal. I don't think I'll die. Cool. Sick. This one is nice. Once you get the Borat voice going, it's hard to stop it. <laughs> hey, you did a good job <laughs> at immediately stopping it, though. Oh it's my true. gosh. That was close. I almost blew myself up. Man, Borat having a Let's Play channel is just something we need and deserve in this in this time. I mean, we did talk about at one point bringing Liam Neeson onto the channel. What if we get Sasha Baron Cohen down here too? Um, you mean my other roommate? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you know I live with Liam Neeson and Sasha Baron Cohen? Who's next? Dude, I have connections. I got ways, man. I don't know who you are. I don't know where you are. But if I don't know where I am. You're going to be. <laughs> if you're going to keep stealing my mayonnaise out of the refrigerator, I will find you. I will charge you. And if I'm into you, I will sex you. <laughs> I, want you I want you to use that line on a girl. Hi there. I'll let you know how. I'd like to sex you. Hello, I'm from Kazakhstan. Oh, I thought that had ammo. I was mistaken. Would you like to sex? Oh, dear. We're all good. We're all good. Oh! Oh! <laughs> How you survive that, I have no clue. Dude, I'm just so good at games. Sometimes. <laughs> Imagine in, Do in the Doom universe being the one that has a computer job. You mean the Doomiverse? Mm -hmm. September 28, <laughs> 2020. Leave me alone. Oh my gosh, there's so many of you. We are st starting to get a lot more varied enemies now. These big guys can suck. Yeah, you're not exactly uh, doing so hot on ammo either. Nope. It's that higher difficulty, yeah. too. That's what that does. It makes resources yep. a lot harder to come by. Agreed. Oh, there, oh yeah, I was going to say, I thought there was shotgun ammo right behind you. <coughs> Bless you. I'm very observant. I used my eyes. And my thinking way. As opposed to my doing boing. Those are That's different boing. That's for later. <laughs> now is not the time for thinking. That comes later. That comes later. Me during my entire college career. I honestly, if I had to describe people what I was like in college, or like in classes, I would I would describe myself as Patrick going like, the inner machinations of my mind are an enigma. <laughs> Just seeing the glass of milk. <laughs> Spill. Oh my gosh. That was my brain in college. Oh no! Oh! Not us... Duma Duma. <laughs> Raise the glass, they say, Duma Duma, yay. Do my do my yay. Do my do my do my yay. Thank you. <laughs> I wasn't sure if you were like embarrassed f or not. Oh no, I got it. <laughs> Loud and clear. He gouts it. Well, we'll continue to talk about nonsense next time on Murphy. Next time. <laughs> next time. Goodbye.